Unhinged stars Russell Crowe and Karen Pistorius and is about a woman who honks at a man who's stalled at a green light. That man ends up being Russell Crowe, a man who's having an extremely bad day, and he decides to follow her and make her life a living hell. This is Road Rage times 100. This movie's been pushed back a lot in America because of the pandemic. It was originally going to come out a lot earlier, and it's actually coming out in real live theaters this weekend. I was fortunate enough to get an online screener for this movie so I don't have to go to the theater and see it. I'm not going to tell anyone to go out to the theater right now because people are concerned and I understand those concerns, but this movie is better than I thought it was going to be. It's by no means a great film and there's a lot of issues towards the last half of the movie, logic issues and some very cheesy 90s one-liners that had me laughing, but the film was never boring. It always kept my interest, and much of this is due to Russell Crowe's performance. He is chewing the fucking scenery. He's really relishing this role as a man who is on his last legs. What I really liked about the approach to the villain in this movie is that usually when you have a movie that takes place all in one day, a one-day thriller or a real-time thriller, you have a character up against some force, but that villain is also trying to make sure they don't get caught. They're trying to avoid the police. But in the case of this character early in the film, he says he has no problem being shot and killed by the cops today. So he is going to do anything he wants. So there's no rules. It sort of frees up the writer to just have a villain murder people in broad daylight and then just walk away because he genuinely does not care if he dies today. That makes for a really compelling villain, and Russell Crowe is really good in the movie. Speaking of the writer, Carl Ellsworth, he also wrote Disturbia and Red Eye, Red Eye being another one day, one period in time thriller. And while that's a much better film, it's something he's very good at because those movies are often looked down upon, but they're actually very hard to write because you have a character that could at any one point in time get to the police or get to a friend or call the right person and the movie ends. And you have to find compelling ways for that to not happen. And you have to do it in a way that makes the audience go along with it. And you don't want to lose the audience. There are times in Unhinged where he lost me. There's some moments where characters should definitely be doing things differently. Sometimes people take their seatbelts off in the car and start searching around the car. And I'm like, you fucking idiot, you're gonna die. One character is at home and he notices his window is broken and his girlfriend is not answering his calls anymore. What does he do? No, he does not immediately call the police. He grabs a knife and investigates. There's moments like that that definitely strain logic. Karen Pistorius is also very good in the film, although her character wasn't given quite enough at first. I like that she's portrayed as someone who has a lot of catching up to do in life. She's always late. She gets fired very early in the movie, and you can tell that she's kind of a disappointment to the people who love her most. That's a, a compelling character, but she isn't really given that many opportunities to right those wrongs. It's sort of like character baggage meant to make her a person, but they don't really come into play throughout the movie that much. Unhinged is best described as a cross between Duel, Joyride, and Changing Lanes, with a little sprinkling of breakdown. And I like all of those movies, so this film has that going for it. It has a really fun performance from Russell Crowe. It has a campy vibe that Honestly, I was sort of refreshed to see so many films nowadays are, are so, so serious and everything is so important and we're supposed to pay attention to this because there's a message, but this movie just wants to have fun for 90 minutes and I admired that. I will say my least favorite part of this movie is the opening credit sequence. It's completely unnecessary. It's two to three minutes of news footage sort of convincing us that road rage exists, as if we needed convincing. But Unhinged was a refreshingly mind-numbing experience and I'm gonna give it a B minus. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. I am curious to know if anybody's actually going to go to the theater right now. Uh, Tenant and New Mutants still scheduled. The theaters near me are doing like 30% capacity, and I'm still a little leery about that. So hopefully I'll be able to give some more reviews to you guys through online screeners like this over the next few weeks. Mulan obviously is going to be a big thing with Disney Plus and that $30 thing they're doing. Tenant, I'm positive there's no way Nolan would, would let anyone watch that movie on a computer. So we'll see what happens, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.